Good morning, good morning from sunny Australia. Um, heading for another hot day here in Queensland, Australia. Uh, have a lot of viewers obviously that are going through winter time. Um, sorry about that, but I'd actually love to see the snow again after being away from England for uh, many years. Even though I do go back, uh, I don't go back when it's snowing but I would like to see the snow again. So, um, sorry that if, if it's uh, stopping some people from <laughs> getting about, but um, yeah, we all have different, um, obviously different climates around the world and everybody adjusts. So I'm loving the Queensland weather anyway. You can have a dip in the ocean or a dip in the pool to cool off. So it's all good. Okay, talking about dips, dip, dip. Um, love doing dips and trying to find you know different ways of switching it up or down or just trying different things and everybody loves the outcome of the dips and uh, they usually sell well or you're lovely to give as gifts so what I'm trying today is I'm going to dip on chubby chubby bubble wrap I've dipped on the uh, bubble wrap that's got the little fine little uh, air cells in it that uh, this one is a chubby a chubby bubble wrap just like me so I'm going to just dip my two 20 by 25 canvases um, onto this and I'm going to use the Montmartre pouring paints today so they're already made up nothing added I haven't got to ha add anything. If I wanted cells, I would pour them into a cup and just add one or two uh, drops of silicon. But I'm going to use mostly the uh, Montmartre pouring paints. I might add a little bit of my uh, Montmartre Studio acrylics as I go. Uh, I'm not certain yet, so it's just fly by the seat of my pants. Uh, type day today so so I've got all those lovely colors sitting there so I'm going to um, I'm gonna get on with it I suppose get on with it would be a good thing so I'm going to load my um, my my chubby bubble the chubby bubble I'm gonna load the chubby bubble up with the colors as I go along okay so first of all I've got this absolutely stunning stunning hot pink oh by the way my supplier for Australia for all of the products that are basically that I use I get from my online supplier in Australia the link is below Cabriol Shabby Chic excellent service family run business um, and if you're looking for the Montmartre products in the US then there's a link also for the US, US -y people. Should have just marking out where, uh, kind of right, yeah, where I would like these to put the paint because I don't want to waste too much paint. But yeah, there's a US supplier and there is a Canadian supplier, I believe, under my, in the description box underneath. <coughs> <coughs> Not get rid of this cold, it's a pain up the butt, but anyway, well, it's not a cold, it's just a cough. But I've tried all sorts and it's still hanging in there, never mind. So, it just excuse me. So, this is just called pink, pink, pink. So, I'm gonna go the pinkies today, okay? I haven't took the lid off that one, so oh. just give it a poke with my skewer. And all will be revealed so yes these are nice and easy if you don't want to worry about mixing paints and getting um, recipes correct they're all pre-made for you they come out lovely yeah they're just a no-brainer you don't have to think about them so lots of people that are starting on this art journey that's what they crave is just simplicity to get them going okay so I'm keeping all in these pinky tones today so this is a dusty pink but don't worry I will be 
throwing in there a bit of contrast. So it's just going to be um, quite interesting what this chubby, chubby bubbles, the chubby bubbles, um, what the chubby bubbles make if anything so I, I'm just thinking that maybe I might lose a lot of paint in the chubby bubbles but I, I've got a plan for that which I will reveal as I'm going along chubby bubbles so it looks kind of drab at the moment but hopefully I will spice it so this is the light purple I just give them a real good shake and um, if you're working without gloves it's that's really highly pigmented paint so you'll get the stain on your fingers so definitely wear your gloves always I'm doing the chevron patterns because it just gives a lovely outcome to anything that I've done with the chevron patterns you can try all the different whatever you choose to do you can absolutely go for it and try different ones but um i just get lots of nice results out of this so i like sticking with it so this is just the white and i'm just going to do the chevrons but through the center now just changing it up a bit oops 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 Okay, I might run some white right around my edges. Yeah, probably this is the, I mean, you don't use much of this paint really, uh, but the white I seem to, because I can use the white to mix other colors too. Keep that around the edges, keeping with me pinks. Now I'm gonna go Shiraz, Shiraz, okay. Hot pinky that looks. So these um, bubble wrap, you don't need to go buy anything. This is all recycled. I recycle the bubble wrap from anything that I have parcels in. Um, if you don't get parcels, you go out and shop for your paints. Um, you can ask, you know, you can ask in your local um, grocery store if they will give you any bubble wrap, and they usually, absolutely, you know, yes, anything that's recyclable, uh, they'll give to you for free. Well, they do here anyway. So, Let's see, hopefully that's gonna lift it, lift it for a Swiss skip. Let's hope that I am happy, Jan, with this one. I uh, want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Had a lot of subscribers lately. I'm absolutely um, so humbled and so thankful to you all. Absolutely. And yes, yeah, so thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I get 99.9% .9 positive feedback. And I want to thank you guys for that. Um, if you'd like to hop over to my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page and uh, let me see some of your work. We've got an art group there, so people can post their groups, uh, their groups, their their own artworks. I don't mind video links. I'm absolutely willing to help anyone out start a channel. I absolutely don't want um, spam, obviously, and company big companies. I'm quite happy to promote family-run businesses. More than happy, just give the little guys a go. So yeah, just hop over there. Now this one was the the black, the black, 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 and I put a little bit of. Um, I put one drop of the Helmar, one drop of Helmar silicon. You can get this all over the world, I believe. It's on Amazon or eBay, and you can get it from our very own Shabby Chic in Australia. Um, yeah, so I'll put this in, it's still a little bit thick, so I might add just a touch of water to um, 
just want to th throw some black in there. I was going to go navy, but um, I got carried away and added too much black, so just bear with me. Let's see if this will actually pour or it's too thick, I'm not sure. I might be better giving this some swirls. I'll give this some swirls because I've done this, just this one differently. So I didn't uh, put any, obviously, uh, silicone in any of the others, but I just thought I'd put it in the final layer just because I don't want too many um, cells in a dip, but a, a few cells in the right place are usually quite nice. So, so that it was going to be dark navy to set off all those pinks, but here you go, it ended up being black. So, change your plan again. Okay, have I got enough white around those edges? All right, better order myself some more white. Just want to make sure, yeah. Okay, that's done, 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 done and dusted. Here we go. Chubby bubbles. Show me some magic, chubby bubbles. Oh, there you go. It's well over what my canvas is. Didn't judge that right, did I? But I'm sure I have lots of paint there to... Um, dip other things into but these chubby bubbles they feel nice and soft to press onto so it's interesting it will be interesting to see if they give us any kind of um, different out outcome probably like a more organic or textured look I'm hoping for so we will see we will see Here we go, peeps. Oh, and I normally press my push, push my push pins in. Okay, and I normally tape that day, and I'm not on the ball today. Early dooly. Oh, okay. It's got a little bit of blank space, but that's absolutely fine. As I'll show you what I'll do with that is I'll get my little water filled balloon, push it in, push it in. Oh push it in. That didn't turn out too good either. What's going on? There's probably too much paint on it. Yeah, take it off, take it off. No, that's fine. That's going to come up gorgeous. I'm just going to press the other one in, then I'll get back to working with you on that again. I'll just grab a cloth, because as usual, I forgot my cloth. So, oh, it's not too bad at all. This one's very delicate. I'm going to try and do three this colour and give to my granddaughter. So, um, not sure what's going to happen with this one because I wonder if I no, no, I'll try. I might try and move this one around to pick up some of the paint. So it'll either go messy or it could be fine but yeah I think the chubby bubbles have allowed the paint to move more so it does kind of give a different look than just dipping direct dipping so I don't mind if there's some little holes in the canvas when I pick it up blank spots because I'll just use that little water balloon in the paint for those so it's, it's no big deal this one I won't spend so much time with because I will okay Woo. to see how the the chubby bubbles have actually left streams in that which has created a bit of movement which is all good all good so I'm going to use the little water balloon and I'm going to I don't want too much paint I'm going to just press my little water balloon into areas that it's probably too wet to do a real good job with the water balloon I would allow it to dry 
so I might just use this time to go over the um, a good idea is to do your edges with your leftover paint on there and just balloon I can't see what I'm doing here trying to eh, trying to keep it in the frame sorry so just balloon the sides it gives a really nice effect on the side to push your balloon on it so what I will do is allow this to dry further and then I will come along and I think I'll put some deeper pink balloon embellishment in it so it gives it a little bit of um, contrast in there but I really wanted see that I really wanted the pinks because it's for a little girl um, I'm just gonna hit it slightly with my heat wand to just bring up a few cells she said just a few and just bear with me my wonder wand Jilly's wonder wand the supplier for these two is Cabriol Shabby Chic if in Australia if you're overseas eBay or Amazon in the UK uh, US Canada okay do this brand of this particular one's Mo Mofa Mofa Don't want too many cells because it's already started to bring up cells there. I'll just change that one over. Like I said, I'm going to give it um, a little, I'll go and have a cup of coffee. I'll come back and I will be uh, just doing some darker, um, yeah, dark pink balloon embellishments in there because that's very nice, soft and delicate. And I'll, I'll probably see if I can get another one canvas out of that because I wanted three to put in a frame that I have. So I will pop back or the photos will be on the end of this video for um, the finished product. So I'll add the photos to the very end of the uh, video. So you can see this loveliness. So it was dipping on chubby bubble wrap. Thanks so much guys for joining me for today. Thanks for subscribing and um, see you again next time. Bye for now.